everybody. Welcome back to Cascadia. Not to Cascadia Dispatch. I got distracted by my phone. Let's, let's start it over. Let's do it again. We'll, do it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Do it live. What channel are we on? What day is it? It's all over the place. Welcome to Prep Talk Live, episode 15. I'm Casey with Cascadia Dispatch. I, I think that sounds better. With me, as always, is the Urban Prepper. Tup, what's up? How are you? How's your week? How are things going? It was good. And how uh, was the intro? Are your ears not bleeding? There, it was. It was pretty good. I mean, it's still jamming. It's still bumping. I think people should be rolling in the vehicles with the we, bumping we the, the, the talk live jam. Yeah, we have the energy in there. Yeah, exactly. But it's not deafening. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Real quick, shout out to everyone in the in the in the chat. If if you notice the difference in the audio, if you've been here before, did you prefer the non deafening version of the intro, or do you prefer the ear bleeding uh, version better? Let us know whenever you get a chance. Yeah, I thought it was good. And, and again, so, uh, sorry for uh, not having our, our regularly broadcasted Wednesday stream. This is our special Thursday one, and that's a, that was all, all my fault for uh, for work purposes. So I feel like what we should do is it's kind of like CNN, where it used to be that like they would do breaking news when it was breaking news, and now literally on every commercial break they come back and it's breaking news regardless yeah. of what it is. They just have marketed it that way. Yeah. I feel like we should just market it as well, like. It's a special stream. Like we set up Wednesday, but we just have them randomly, intentionally on other days. Yeah, I, we, we, we shoot. For, we shoot for Wednesdays, <laughs> and if Wednesdays don't work, then we try to shoot for Thursday or Friday. If that doesn't work, then we then it's a, then we go to the skip. next week. Then we, and then then the we double week. up. Then we just forget about it, and then and then we put on a cooking show, and we go a whole different direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, but, oh, there's some weird uh, sound going on. Am I having a is there? What's happening? Is it ghosts or a dog? What's happening? Okay, well, it sounded like I was in a waterfall for a little bit. I'm not sure if the viewers <laughs> heard that. And then you sounded like you were God speaking to me uh, well, with a, a commanding voice. So I feel like you're either in the middle of flash dance or yeah. having a stroke. One okay, or the I'd, other. Well, we'll Quick see if like, in, the, in the chat room. Yeah, let us know. If I see uh, Jonathan's here. Jonathan already wants us to uh, show the EDC. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, to, to why not? Uh, looks like TAC is in or... Uh, Chuck, yeah. yeah, yeah, Chuck. We, we like Chuck, that's for sure. We got and uh, regional sky girl, yeah, there we go. Showing up here, apparently, uh, Bread did not notice the uh, the difference in the audio. Uh, um, but then, then Bread just wrote another one saying, I didn't notice that what J uh, Tup just said. So, oh, there we go. Okay, but something so, it was, it was omnipresence, it was really, uh, it was you had a, you had an aura about you, and it and, it, and there, the whole audio change. But I think we're, we're going okay. like full Super Saiyan. We're waiting yeah. for flames to show up. We're waiting for an aura or yeah. aura. I don't know, one or the other. How was your week? How are everything's going? What's it's what's new so in the busy. world of Tup? It's been so busy. Uh, I because normally you ask, oh, what'd you do prep wise? And I, I always want to. <laughs> I always try to come to these uh, streams and have like something really good that I could talk about. But uh, it's just been so busy. It's been like nonstop. Uh, We've had some birthday parties. We've had some uh, some dinners. Some people coming over. Various evening events. Uh, work has been busy. And she's playing like total nonstop. I've been exhausted. So I don't. And I don't even think I have a breather day until like. Oh my maybe, god! I'm hoping. Oh I can... my god! Whoa! What happened? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. It was that seven point two Japan earthquake. It's finally making That's its way thought, to the West I thought, Coast. That's I, yeah, I thought like. something happened to you. That's. <laughs> don't yeah, don't do that to us. That was too scary. Yeah, that was a so, with everything going on in the world right yeah. now. We don't need to see those kind of things. <laughs> Cascadia dispatch is down. Cascadia is down. Yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Uh, no, but yeah, was... but, uh, yeah, yeah, Jonathan. Yeah, earthquake. That's what I. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. They, they took them out. They took out our our Portland branch of. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The host is down. That's yeah. what happens. But yeah, all, all in all, is uh is pretty good. It's just been busy of like life stuff and not as much uh you know i can't say that i like did a humongous prepping project uh, so i'm just trying to yeah. finish a video so that's it yeah you need a vacation yeah i do need you one. should go take a you should go take a break could take a, a nap or something i need a vacation funded by the by youtube or something I don't know. Yeah, exactly exactly well you've been putting out videos you've been doing all kinds of stuff i mean i, I don't know you know it's those that ad, ad that ad revenue you know yeah, the monetization so, loop there you go but yeah, how about you? How 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 has been? Uh, busy as well, busy as well with some life stuff. Uh, we had uh, I mentioned last week, last weekend, I think. Did I mention last weekend that we got the TikTok freezer, and I was really excited yes. about it. Yeah, and so uh, we finally like finally unwrapped it and got it plugged in. 
Um, I did a live on TikTok to get it ready, and all nice. of one person showed up. It was it was very popular. Um, yeah. And uh, but it was all dented. And so one of the wonderful things I love about Costco is if things are like that, you can take it back very easily. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> it became a whole ordeal that went through most of Saturday and part of Sunday to oh. try to get. We went through three different ones, all of them being damaged. So if you are going to get the TikTok freezer from Costco, make sure that you have them unwrap it before you put it in your car on your way mm. home. But we did find one that was not uh, dented and broken. And so we got that. We got it plugged in. So I think next week or this coming week, maybe this weekend, we'll actually do some filming of, of filling it up and everything. Uh, it's a pretty cool little thing. I think we're going to move some stuff in our garage to make space. Sounds so, good. Uh, so yeah, so that was that was kind of my week. And then enough. I apologize. I have a... I have a, a standing, one of those electronic standing sitting desk things. Yeah. And so I put a little uh, drawer underneath it to hold like pens and like the remote for the TV in my office and all that sort of stuff. Nice. And I went to go put my leg up on my knee and I hit the bottom of that thing and then it shook the whole setup and all of the things. So, you know, next time, hopefully it won't be like that. I will, I will, I will mess. <laughs> but. So, so yeah. strange, strange audio again right there, but this is good. Oh, we got strange <laughs> audio. We got all kinds of things. Yeah. Is it my is it my audio that's weird? It's it, yeah, I think it's yours, but it's it makes it uh, exciting. So I okay. I'm a little because I'm a little concerned because I got the the new that new audio input device that's supposed to make my audio better. And if it's not making it better, then that would be very disappointing. Yeah. I so I have to, well, I'll have to listen to the playback because yeah, I don't just hear listen it in to my the ears, first. But... Seven minutes of the playback, and we'll you know, exactly we'll as as I often do with candles yeah. around. I set the yeah. mood; it, it happens. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, and if by the way, if you're new, if you're existing, if you've been here before, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, which pumps this out to more people on the YouTube algorithms. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe <laughs> on everybody's channel. Uh, my channel is about to cross eight thousand subscribers, nice. which I was super surprised about i was like oh wow i didn't realize i had we had jumped that much uh tups is about to get to three million and four so if no, we can just that's... push him up a little bit more we can just get him to be the size of a small city um i think that would be that would be fantastic <laughs> yeah i'm just i'm just happy i mean most of the time you're filming all these things and i'm just happy people anyone watches <laughs> watches the the video so it's a, it's always cool and flattering so it looks like yeah. a 72 tne GA. Is anything important going <laughs> to be discussed? Is there just going to be small talk for this screen? <laughs> 72. Is this your first time here? Welcome. Yes. Welcome to Prep Talk Live. Um, this is the number one podcast and stream for preppers and non-preppers. Um, and the way that we do this is we do it live. We do very little preparation. Uh, it's just Tup and the loved one, as, as he has affectionately referred to me before, and uh, and we chat, and we will have some things as you can see down below. We have we, we have an have, agenda. We have an agenda. Yeah. We have an agenda, and uh, and for the most part, we stick to it, and then we go completely off of it, and that is part of our charm. And uh, you know, most people they stick around for the hour, and then they uh, leave happy uh, and content. So that's the uh, that's the goal. Um, you know, we appreciate that. Uh, we try to we try to at least entertain ourselves. That's our goal. We fun, we're yeah. we're happy to entertain everyone else as well. Um, and in fact, we are very much prepper adjacent. We are not. There is no camouflage happening in this stream. Although um, it's a St. Patrick's Day, so camo would actually work out pretty well for this one. But you're, but it would. It, you know what? Good. That's that's a fair statement. That is cool. a fair statement. All right. So uh, so now that we've covered our is weeks, it the preps for we me? Very few. Yeah. Let's do the preps for me. We got to switch the graphic because we have graphics and that's what we do. All right. So preps for me, show and tell time. What did you bring? I have, I have a, I, I I'm going to go last because I want to. You want big you. on this one? Okay. I want to surprise I, you. With I that. have a couple things. I don't know if I have time for both. Uh, one of the ones <laughs> it's our gonna... stream. You can have as much time as you want. So I'll order the, this dinner. Is a, this is one uh, I wish I would have had when I first started getting into prepping and bug out bags and stuff. I, uh, it's just like, weighing your bug out bags and your edc bags and go bags is is important and i think that as you're building them together oftentimes you want to put everything in there and uh and because you want all these capabilities in there but then when you put it on it's like 50 pounds and you're you can barely walk a half mile with it so uh, one of the things i was going to recommend it's real simple it's super cheap too 
is to get, pick up one of these uh, digital scales, basically, for your bug out bag. So you put it on the handle of it, just like that. And now you can get an accurate weight. And as you're building your bug out bags, just constantly try to see, if, do I want to pick this thing up on a regular basis? Or uh, it, it doesn't have to be a bug out bag, or it could be an inch bag, or it could be your go bag, or it could be your EDC bag. But uh, this is, when I first started, I would I had a, a kind of a hooky way of weighing my, my kits. And now this is what I use. And I was using it the other day. And I was like, oh, I should probably talk about that with, uh, with Casey. So uh, I don't even know what brand this is. Camry. Uh, but that, that's what I use now for weighing all of my kits, like my, my bags and backpacks and stuff. But this was just a little teaser for my uh, show and tell item for today. Now, hold on. Hold on. Before you get on to the next one, because you said you had another way of doing I it. Do. Was the other way of doing it your previous career as the weight guessing person at the circus? Yeah. Well, no, it was. Uh, did you, it was did basically, you I, I channel your myself, skills yeah. from college and be like, hmm, I feel like the way this bag is looking. 40 pounds yeah uh, that, uh, you kind of guess well i was doing it just by size so i i normally put <laughs> like i have a laundry basket and i put all the stuff that i want to have in that kit in the laundry basket first and then i move it to a real backpack is how i do it uh just for organizing and i used to just like weigh myself and then weigh myself with the bag and that's how i got the weight but this is a a better way of doing it but uh but that's not my main item that i'm also to also breaking news pony girl oh, has made it breaking news breaking news Pony, Pony Girl has made it. The chat is very happy. I know Tup and I are very happy that you're here, Pony Girl. Thank you for arriving. Thank you for being here. All right. So back the to... second item, this isn't as much, this is kind of a prepper adjacent item because it's not, it's not for your bug out bag. It's not for your uh, inch bag. It's for your going camping bag. And because uh, I do stuff with the uh, Boy Scouts and we do, we do some camping and stuff. And so one of the things that, that always gets the most uh, attention while I'm on those trips is my collapsible rake. And I don't know if this is uh, something that uh, everyone has, but when you're usually going to a campground site, you have uh, like it's usually covered with the uh, twigs and leaves and pine cones and all sorts of stuff. And basically, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stretch this out for this particular video, but uh, basically this allows you to have a full size rake on you. Uh, and you can easily store this in your vehicle. And now you could clear off your shelter area uh, oh using the rake. So clearing off all the branches, all the pine cones, all the twigs. And then when you're done with it, you fold it back up again. And uh, it's like <laughs> super convenient. So like, I think with a lot of like kits and stuff and backpacks, like you have like a, um, like a large tool that you'll have with it. So it's like, if you're in a bug out bag, you'll probably have like a, a zombie weapon or something like that. Or uh, wait, it, it, it's a large tool from the fire hydrant wrench yes. king. Over yeah. There. I brought a fire. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell you, me, you could, you tell know, me more you, about this large tool. Yeah. Tough. You usually yeah. have, to, you usually I'll have a uh, space for one large tool and I don't need uh zombie hunter stuff when I'm camping, but I do need to clear off uh, the, you know, the shelter area and so this thing works great it's not that much money it's super convenient it's built well uh, i could put a link in the chat room as we're going but yeah i think you should also um <laughs> I feel said like you should never should... open a rake indoors who said yeah that. you should also probably do a follow-up video on how you don't want to have two large tools at the same time yeah just no, one just one, one at just a time. one only yeah exactly don't yeah, don't yeah. wow yeah. the rake no, is no uh two tools one top you don't want yeah. that <laughs> two tools one top <laughs> this oh, is sorry. the best. I'm oh, sorry. Scream. Did it, was that my on, inside? Was that my inside voice or outside is, voice? That is. Here's the deal. I am. I am only sad that there is that there is only 25 people watching this right now because well, I really feel run. like there are thousands of people that would have appreciated that. Um, <laughs> that okay, that so is what, fantastic. What, also, I love that the chat is still on topic. Yeah. There's no zombies in the forest. No. That's very disappointing. Um, that's that's. I, I love that the chat keeps us on. Uh, keeps us on track. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what 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 did you bring for your show and tell? I've talked about I've, my I've, tools. I have to figure out what the icons need to be for that shirt. Two tools, <laughs> one top, with with a with a like a line through it. That's fantastic. Sorry. <laughs> Man, we're gonna get demonetized for sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I think it's amazing we were monetized to begin with. Yeah, That's, yeah. I think, the thing. So my thing um, is, uh, so you had put out the video a couple of weeks ago about the fanny packs. Yeah. And 
I think most of us that have been doing the prepping for a while, we have a wide range of bags and packs and things like that. And I had thought that I still had a fanny pack from the 90s, 80s, 90s-ish, uh, at my parents' house that I was going to use to include in that video. Turns out that likely several decades ago, that fanny pack was sent away. Uh, it was a neon pink Varney fanny pack. It would have been fantastic but it did not exist. So I was, I was intrigued by your video. I was intrigued by the idea. Um, I have a, a couple of different EDC bags that I take places, um, but I like the idea of having something a little smaller. So I texted you yep. and said, hey, Tup, which fanny pack do you have? And uh, you responded three or four days later, I, I don't it's usually, remember. That's usually yeah, no. exactly. Yeah, no, you responded the next day, but I'm impatient. And so I had actually already purchased and had there on the go. way the VanQuest fanny pack. So this is my new, this is my new show and tell. So I am uh, looking for all suggestions on what I should have in here. I have some ideas of what I will probably be putting in here. Um, but the goal is to have this, uh, you know, quick and easy uh, to go places, wallet, keys, phone sort of stuff uh, with a couple of, of special editions uh, for anyone who wants to read between the lines, perhaps. Oh. Um, but uh, but yeah, so this will be something that I can kind of take out when I don't have my whole laptop bag and everything else, um, more than just my wallet, less than a backpack sort of thing. So if people have suggestions of what we should be putting in here, how many tools, will fit in this fanny pack. Um, I am open to suggestions, but that is my new my new prep to show and tell. Yeah, so the fanny packs have gotten so much cooler over the years. Uh, they used to be more of the Disneyland style ones, and now they're, you know, uh, all the all the cool manufacturers are making their own fanny packs, or sometimes they call it something, different, the, the waste pack or whatever. Yeah, but, this was like a, it, they called it, a, well, first off, there's some name that starts with a D that I can't pronounce. Dendrite, that. yeah. Yeah. Also, I messaged VanQuest because we were on a stream. I was yep. on a stream with VanQuest. You had yep. them or whatever. And I was like, hey, guys, this is out of stock on your website. What's going on? I got no response. So I need to send a note to the guy who was on the thing. Like, you need to respond back to people on, on the Instagram DMs because they're trying to buy things from you. And, like, no one's responding. Um, but I actually got this on Optics Planet. Uh, and it cool. looks like they're, like, maybe out in a lot of places. And so they're going to have, like, a back order or something. There's but a fanny pack shortage. Is a supply supply shortage for fanny, fanny packs? Fanny packs, gas cans, all the things that you show and tell <laughs> are know. things that you should have told us about, like, two weeks beforehand. Yeah, we, we sold out those gas gone. cans real quick. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I bought uh, – I actually, of course, because you recommended it, and I am a sucker for all the things you recommend. Um, so I got two of them. But they were like sold out in red everywhere. So oh, I got okay. two green ones. Okay. Those um, are cool too. And uh yeah, we'll we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so the fanny pack, the van quest, this is gonna be a work in progress, but I figured okay. I would I would yeah. share it with everyone. Yeah, the other day I was, I was filling up some uh some of those gas cans a, a few days back and I uh I had it in my vehicle. I totally like bashed my leg up because one of the gas cans came tumbling out of the car and just landed right on my leg so i have this big scar now <laughs> and this big bruise i thought i broke my leg for a second and it's all because of that gas can that nato gas can but this okay. this sounds yeah this like it's a work-related injury yeah. you didn't include this in your sales pitch video no i didn't when you put out <laughs> if you would have i was like wow these might be heavy i don't know maybe we'll just get to it figure it out i did not know that bodily harm was basically well, guaranteed yeah, I, I heard it falling out of the vehicle and I tried to block it stupid. Like I tried to block it with my leg. And then of course, you know, uh, five gallons of gas and a NATO can hurts. So <laughs> <laughs> little did I know. <laughs> Weight plus force and mass. Ouch. Yes. That's, yeah. a, that's a thing. Um, about the gas cans, just to circle back on that. Can you store them sideways? I, I don't think it, it's best to because I think the seal will eventually like it'll... I think you can for a little bit, like you could tip it on its side, but I store mine vertically. Okay. Uh, but I know when they transport them, like in the military, I believe yeah. that they do them sideways, but I think that's for a short time. I think what we're, as preppers, what we're trying to do is store them for long-term storage. And I, I think for long-term, we should probably just keep it up. But I do the same for 
most, you know, like even my five, five gallon water bottles, I have those vertical too. Just even though technically they can be on their side, I, I just don't trust it as much as I do uh, vertical. Yeah. So. See, now I've never had such a fancy gas can before. So I just don't know. A, I, I've got, I thought I was doing really nice. I got the plastic ones with two handles and the, the little spigot thing and all. Yeah. I was like, these are fancy schmancy. I did not know about the metal ones that were NATO qualified with rubber gaskets and all of the attachments and things. So yeah. I'm stepping I, up my game a little bit. People thought I was super cool at the gas station because I came out with a rock and some <laughs> red NATO cans and they're, ooh, what's because some people might have like the little, little tiny gas cans, the plastic cheap ones. And I, I came out there with some, with some, some, uh, people I, went, thought I, that you full, were, I went full prepper on it. Went you full went full prepper. prepper. Yeah. People yeah. thought you were fancy because you had multiple gas cans at the gas station right yeah. now. Well, they the, were like, oh, look at him. He fancy. The he price tag, gas, it, it, it hurts. Extra gas. I don't know what the price is for you right now, but it was like five bucks a gallon. Is, uh, and man, it, yeah, that was, it, didn't, it didn't feel good. But yeah, I think it, it was four, it was like 465 or 470. Um, we go to Costco and get gas. I actually watched, there was a, a thing on CNBC today because that's what I watched during the day on my TV. Well, I'm watching March Madness now but to earlier today um and they did a whole thing on the gas prices and actually how gas and and oil futures and all of that kind of work and then actually like why the prices change at the pump and all that which was really interesting i was like okay that's that's very interesting um but then they were they were talking about people who were filling up and what the difference was and that getting it from a big box store like costco or uh yeah. Safeway or Kroger or something yeah. because of how much gas they buy, they aren't as uh, tied into the futures market as uh, more of a local store. So they can actually drop their prices faster because they can empty their tanks faster. So then they can buy cheaper gas in the future, which what, I thought what, was really One of these gas issues, when are going to get rid of the whole nine tenths of a gallon type thing, like, or whatever it is? Never. Like, I'm like, come on, like no other, <laughs> you don't buy backpacks or, or fanny packs where it's like, okay, yeah, this fanny pack is $49.99 and nine tenths of a yeah. penny. Like who does that? <laughs> Only gas stations do that. But. I, if, I think what's amazing is it's like, it, it's the whole nine, like nine tenth or nine one hundredths or whatever is like a marketing pricing thing where you put it at, at 99 cents and then it feels like it's less than the other dollar, even though it's basically the same price but it makes people think that i just yeah. love the fact that they were like we're gonna take it even one more like yeah. we're gonna we, make it even closer but still not the same thing yeah and, and they're but they're the only that's the only th business that i know of that actually that does that that strategy everyone oh yeah else, no everyone 100%. does like 49.99 you know that we're, we're used yeah. to that but they they just went that extra mile bitcoin so I, I don't know. yeah bitcoin yeah <laughs> yeah bitcoin bitcoin yeah. is real small yeah they 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 yeah they upped it for sure <laughs> um yeah, our, it went down uh, 10 cents. Fred, where are you? I think that's the question is, where are you? Where is this gas? Where is this Costco gas station that you have gone to? Where is um, your, uh, your home address and your yeah, mom's, exactly. maiden, mom's maiden name? <laughs> we need to know these things. What is your favorite color and your childhood nickname? That's yeah. uh, What street did you grow up on? Uh, yeah. First um, pet? Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> first pet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So now on, let's uh... let's let's get into the next topic. All right. To prep or not to prep. So uh, prep. No, yeah, sorry. Oh, always. Oh, sorry. Okay. Half prep, semi prep. Um, so this kind of came to me. Uh, I was watching uh, a video, and it was it was a sad video because look, it's the time of our our live stream. At some point, we always bring it down. It's, it's... a downer thing. Um, but it was uh well. It was a family who had bought a house and they found in the wall some money and a pocket watch that looks like it was probably stored there previously by the previous owners or someone and they had passed away and nobody knew about it. And the kind of the, the moral of the story was you need to make sure that you know where all your stuff is. You know, we, we tend to put preps in different places. We tend to you know, put money and valuables and uh, all over the place and do all that sort of stuff. But to make sure that the people that you are prepping for, likely your family, know where the stuff is. Because a lot of times, you know, my wife is is very involved in what I'm doing, but she's not nearly as involved as I am uh, with what I'm doing. 
um, as it relates to prepping and putting things different places and that sort of stuff. Um, and I don't know for you if it's a similar thing, but I was kind of thinking like, what are ways or things that you have done to make sure that as you lay things out, you know, if you're gone, if you're at work, you know, I travel every once in a while for work, so I'm not at home. Um, how to make sure that the people that are there, whether it be your wife and your kids, whether, you know, if we go out on a date night or we go to a show or something and it's just the kids and a babysitter, like how do we let them know where all the stuff is? So if they need to access things or, you know, somebody comes over, the, we have the bug in, all of our family members are going to kind of converge on our house and that's the bug in location. Like, how do I let those people who don't live at the house and wouldn't know, but know that there is stuff there to know where the, 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 all the backup stuff is. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a good, uh, solution for that because, because <clears throat> like you, I mean, I, I know where the stuff is, but my wife doesn't, even though I try really hard to, you know, I, I, if I, look, look at the PDF, I have a PDF yeah. for this. So, uh, but, <laughs> yeah, even in my home, that doesn't 17 work. PDFs. By the way, uh, I'm waiting for the one that you're going to publish that shows where all the stuff is in your house on YouTube so that we can all yes, know where but, it yeah. is and yeah, you know, so we'll help knows. out. Because <laughs> that's that's the most common comment that you get to say, "I'll go in your your house during the apocalypse." But yeah, exactly. Uh, no, I, no, you're not. I mean, in general, I have a few different locations of stuff. And, I mean, so it's uh, that's why I use the whole color of prepping. So at least they'd have an idea of where it might be, uh, but they're not going to know. I, I don't think anyone except for myself is probably going to know where, where every single thing is. But I think I've left the clues on where it probably is, uh, and that's <laughs> that's the uh, that's all I could really hope for because. Uh, it's hard to be like on the have everyone on the same page and be up as current, especially when not everyone's as into it as, as I am. Like uh, I have uh, battles with the family on my. I, I've several years back I made a junk drawer video and I had it all organized and color coordinated and a PDF and stuff. And and within a matter of months it just goes down the tubes. Then I got to redo yeah. it again. I'm like, you guys aren't <laughs> following the PDF. I made I made a doc for this. Like, <laughs> Uh, and so, and, and then it's like, Hey, well, where's a, where's a flashlight? I'm like, I have like 50 flashlights. Yeah, flashlights. Exactly. <laughs> but I don't want that flash, but I don't, clip. Yeah, I want but, the yeah. other flashlight. So I, yeah, I think for me, the color coordination helps using modules helps and having them in semi known locations, uh, by at least like the immediate family will help. And it, that'll at least give them a clue. But as yeah. far as like, let's say some random people came over and they needed to find stuff, uh, uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, we don't, I, I don't want random people to find yeah, stuff. They, yeah. We want random people to go away. And by the way, I, I, I did a video on this a while back, but if you're trying to store uh, money in your home, like a, a good place that some people do is, uh, or valuables, they'll, they'll put it in the freezer and they'll have it like frozen because uh, a burglars, like if you were to get robbed, they're going to look for the safe. They're going to look for that, but they're probably not going to look for some box of pizza in the in the freezer that has yeah. uh, all your, your Bitcoins and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then also like if you your home, ha if you ha go through a house fire, Oftentimes the free the, the freezer in the garage is the last thing standing. So maybe your TikTok freezer. Oh, that's freezer. interesting. Yeah. So if you put like some valuables in there in your freezer, they're frozen. They're cool. Everything around it will burn up quicker, but it won't actually get to that. So if, so if you're looking at a, a clever spot to hide stuff, but just make sure that people don't throw away your your, uh, your, your secret <laughs> box of fish sticks or wherever you keep your. Uh, your cash so i told you that in confidence i said don't tell you yeah, look i'm gonna put them in the fish sticks don't tell anyone yeah. here you are streaming a lot it of to people, everyone yeah a lot of people would store like uh they'd store gold, gold coins in like their peanut butter jars and the peanut butter would weigh like 20 pounds or something because they have all these gold coins in it and uh, but that, especially that's a, if like they were in a fight with family members and they didn't want them to get them and then they had peanut allergies. Yeah. And so they were like, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll put the gold in the peanut butter and then if they have That's to go true. in, they it's will like a be biohazard. It's a biohazard for some people. So. <laughs> but, yeah. It's like a moat of lava, but it's delicious. Yeah. But that, that's. I guess that's my tips on, on, on that. Yeah. So. I've, been, I've been trying to kind of think of that um, – either whether it's more centralizing things in the locations because we have we have a lot of stuff in our garage but then we also have stuff uh in a couple of specific rooms in the house um that are kind of more like okay if something happened in the garage we would have backups in other spots so trying to kind of keep things somewhat together so it's not spread out in every drawer of the house and all of that yeah um but i think there's also trying to get the the kids on board a little bit so that they know where some of the stuff is um so if they were for example with a babysitter they would be able to point the babysitter or they would be able to point 
other people. Um, I was thinking about doing like a video, but it would only work if you had a way to play the video. Um, and I think somebody, yeah, I think it was it was Pony Girl was saying, you know, an emergency. Will will the computer be working to get the PDFs for your yeah. junk drawer? Well, I think uh, uh, <laughs> having like so. a, a, an ice binder or in case of an emergency binder. If, if I'm working on that, it's just not to the point that I I'm, I'm ready to rely on it. So, yeah, uh, Pony Girl also appreciates my penchant for combining um, prepping and the movie Saw apparently together. Um, <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Yeah, that's. <laughs> We'll just put it together and be like bees and 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 peanut butter <laughs> and and penicillin and it's just like pick which one you think the gold is in. Yeah, um, that's, that's good. I've never I've never heard that strategy, but that, I think it's that's that's a good one. So. Um, yeah, I remember they used to have the the um, soda can safes that you could yep. get and that sort of stuff, um, and the rocks that you could like put out in your yard. Yep. Um, have you ever considered doing the burying in the yard idea? Not that you have, because, you know, not, not that you have. I don't think you have. But I've seen a lot of people that do, like, the PVC pipes yeah. with with the end caps, and then they bury that, like, a, as a cache in their backyard. I, I cannot uh, confirm or deny that uh, state, that question that you have. Uh, well, fair, fair, fair. But they're, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> do you... <laughs> Uh, would yeah. you would what? you also recommend if you were to do that covering the tube with peanut butter? Well, no, that, now we're talking. I probably maybe <laughs> maybe not, but uh, what, one person that I, uh, th there's someone that I know, uh, cl closet prepper. He's prepper adjacent now, but kind of a closet prepper, and he's working on his bug out location. And he wants to he's working on his bug out boat to a bug out location that requires going across water, and he's going with the whole PVC pipe cash system that's weighted down in water. So he feels that people wouldn't find it if it's buried in the, in the water. Oh my uh, goodness. And, and he'd have certain, instead of, so like his, his uh, survival cache, like would be like PVC pipe in water that only he could get to with the boat. So, uh, okay. So, so questions, yeah. question number one to, to pony girls point. Yeah. First off, don't ask, don't tell. Well, yeah, Secondly, if, yeah. about prepping. Secondly is, is the person's name closet prepper or is he a prepper that's in the closet about prepping? No, uh, he's, uh, I don't think he, he doesn't identify as a prepper himself, but he's I, he's a non prepper. He's a prepper adjacent, I think, but okay. he's thinking very prepper like. So it's, uh, uh, and cause I've never heard of anyone having a cash system, an underwater cash system for their bug out boat. I've never. That's, yeah, that's a new I one mean, for me. So I love that idea in that, like, it seems like something out of an action movie, like a yeah. James Bond thing or something. But it would make me super nervous to because of water currents and storms and whatever else that this buoy could leave. Yeah, he he had like a whole weighted system, like strategy for it. Uh, I don't want to give out too much information. Was but, it like uh, a GPS pinging device? So yeah, if it moved down the river, he would know. Where no, it he was? didn't have that. No, that's that's hard. that'd be hardcore. But yeah. Well, I mean, that, but yeah, that's the difference between a prep and a bougie prep. Yeah, that's why. You yeah, know, that's, he's prepper Jason have... right now. We're, we want to get him into the. I'm trying to get him into the club. I have to go full prepper. But yeah, Pony Girl, don't ask. The, yeah, if you have a survival bunker, don't talk about your survival bunker. That's definitely. Uh, for real, yeah, so. don't talk about Fight Club. Don't talk about prepping. Don't talk about your closet preppers. Don't yeah. none of that. I don't think, yeah, there's a lot That's of stuff in the that, closet. Yeah. Everything that I put on YouTube is stuff I don't mind sharing out to the world because, you know, it's mm -hmm. uh, out there forever. But, but if I if I ever do get a survival bunker, I'm not putting making a YouTube video of it. Or if I get a, <laughs> uh, yeah, if I have some super You just shared setup. that private video with the rest of us? Yeah. <laughs> if I have a bug it's out. A, it's a beautiful bunker. I mean, I'm I'm very much looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I get a, a, a bug out helicopter with Tommy Gunn, I'm not going to put that on YouTube. So no one's going to know. So <laughs> I love that you say a uh, Tommy Gunn because because those of us who have seen the helicopter know you have at least two. Yeah. I mean, it's just ready to go at any moment. Yep. Um, so uh, Chuck has like one of my kind of dream ideas of of cutting holes in drywall and putting stuff in them um i am a very big fan on the tiktoks of the secret room videos yes, where they're awesome. like open it up and it's like a speakeasy 
or it's a bar or in my case it's the secret lego room that you know exists or whatever um i think putting things especially like in drywall where you could actually like conceal it with something else i would love to do that um i think that's a great idea if you can get to it like you don't want to put it in the wall and then not be able to get to it or put it in the wall and forget about it like this article that i was reading where they forgot about their money and and all that sort of stuff so yeah i know some, a lot of people they are if you have small stuff that you're hiding hiding it behind the outlet covers is is, is popular and uh, i think that's a cool idea too so yeah, but it's got to be a special kind of an outlet cover. Don't just put stuff behind an outlet. That is yeah, a fire true. waiting to that's happen. That's true, yeah. Uh, we do not condone creating fires in your well, own house. And even in Breaking Bad, I think he put, that's where he put his Ryzen, right? For <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and 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 as, 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 as Prep Talk Live, we do not condone, we don't condone Ryzen. Indoors. <laughs> it's a movie reference. Or it's a TV show reference. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's how Walter White uh -oh. got rid of uh, uh, Lydia, I think it was her name. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, party at Tup's private bunker. Now it would be cool that, to have to have a live stream in an underground bunker. Uh, if I, that would be pretty awesome. I think so. Yeah, yeah. No, I like I like that idea. Okay, wait a minute. Did this? We, how is wait? Where is the did we get another super to? chat? That's oh awesome. my goodness, this is fantastic. Thank you, Brad. Put it into the underground bunker fund. Yeah, Please. exactly. We're making the underground bunker happen. That's yeah. and, and then we'll broadcast it from from from, from the, the underground bunker. Yeah. This is fantastic. I, I don't know I, where it goes to though. I don't it's not on my <laughs> what, where the it's, underground bunker goes. Well, to? no, where the super chats are. That's a, that's awesome though. Oh yeah. No, those are fantastic. I, yes. I figure that out. Um this is our second week in a row. I love yes. it. It's it's fantastic. Let's keep the train um, going. Next week we're, we're gonna we're gonna do Yeah, it exactly. Yeah, we'll do it on we'll do when we do it on, on yours, we'll see what happens. That's when we have you had that so I was in your your live stream. Last week, you had Sarge and Digital yeah. Pepper together. That was fun. Yeah, it was. It was. It was two preppers, one tup. <laughs> it was two preppers live, one tup. <laughs> which was which was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna do it again because I had to cut it short because it was, we we're having a birthday party that night and everyone's like, "Why? What's he doing?" And uh, he said, "Was it a live stream?" And I, I was worried I was gonna get rate get rated, but so. Yeah. <laughs> bye bread we will see you later thanks bread, for stopping. thank you for the super chat we appreciate it uh we'll see you next week hopefully on wednesday yeah i think you know, we'll good, see yeah. 50 50 shot it's yeah. spring break um oh yeah spring break's coming up in a couple weeks right. okay cool. yeah i don't know if you guys are on the same schedule our spring break starts next week we do we're doing so. i'm gonna be off on the first week of april and i don't know what we're doing okay. but we'll probably we might go so maybe i'll be live at, i'll do the live stream live at location somewhere so yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll make it work. Um, yeah, I also I, I was uh, let the casual preppers know that we had talked about their thing on our on our stream last week, um, and so I think they are up for doing some sort of a PTL meets CPP um, stream of some sort. One those of these guys are, those guys are pretty <laughs> hilarious and awesome, and I I'm a big fan of their TikToks are really good. Uh, I, I like them so. Yeah. No, so I think that'll be a fun. That'll be a fun thing. We'll maybe do that this spring or yeah, let's summer because we're already into spring. So I mean, that's really just the next season. But you know, same idea. Yeah. Seems like it's out there. We'll do um, a Q two Q two live stream. A Q two live stream. Yeah, we're, we're do <laughs> Q two twenty twenty two. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking too. Maybe maybe we should we should think about bringing in some of our friends here every once in a while. Uh, like, I, like I have some Rogue friends or whatever. I, yeah, I, I mean, we yeah, we got some friends. I was yeah. thinking maybe we do that or Ro Rogue's whatever. always uh yeah fun to talk to and it's very knowledgeable and yeah, exactly. And she, and she maybe has the milk, the milk she, chickens. She has the milk chickens, so we got to yeah. get an update on that. So she does have the milk chickens, and that is an important thing. Uh, I was like, Damien I Sutton is, stays is fun to talk to as well. I think she'd be a blast. Yes. Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah, she's fantastic. Damien reminding everyone to hit the like button if you haven't already. Please yes. do. Uh, that's wonderful. Tony, yes, we do love the casual preppers. We also love Canadian prepper. Uh, he's very busy, though. Very busy. He's very busy. Um, and you can watch. He does a different stream with uh, our friend here, the Urban Prepper. Um, do you guys do them once a month or do you do them once a week? We do. We're trying to schedule the next one. Uh, we are shooting for bi-weekly, but it's, sometimes it's hard. Uh, I, uh, and 
you know, he runs a whole, you know, online business and then has a very popular channel <laughs> and has like a thing. staff and everything, wardrobe and makeup <laughs> and like, booking agents. And so yeah, exactly. that's, that's, that's the, the, the doom zoom. That's the doom zoom. Exactly. Have. So you go to watch the, the doom zoom with yeah. top where top plays, I you know, the, yeah. he's the light relief. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's real dark in there. I that's dark that's in the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, yeah, it's it's always fun talking with Nate. He's uh, he's uh, you yeah, know really awesome. So <laughs> yeah, well, if there are if there are people that you would like us to uh, invite or connect with, also go ahead, leave them in the chat. We'll see what happens. Um, who knows at this point? Uh, we'll do most... prep talk live. We'll do prep talk live after hours. I was thinking yeah. that could be a thing. Maybe we'll do or like Ooh, and after prep... hours, like you like like you. We're gonna up bring the lights yeah, down. Like... <laughs> We're gonna bring the lights down. We're gonna bring the mood. To be smooth, you do uh, and, prep talk, you know, up all night. <laughs> <laughs> Get the bug out bag with the velvet interior. Yeah, just you that. know, make it I'll turn, smooth. I'll turn the lights down. I have some lights here <laughs> that I can turn down. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can be like, yeah, we'll get the, yeah, it'll be a whole thing. We'll, this is yet the I'll most, get some color things. The most recent vid was in Australia. Oh, that's probably Canadian prepper. Yeah. Canadian, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's funny because sometimes you put all this, like, this, uh, you put all this work into making a real high class video with a B roll footage and on location filming and stuff. And then sometimes the one that really is uh, popular is you're just filming with the camera in your truck or something and, and, and it just goes. So that's why um, we call it YouTube. Yeah, exactly. So, and Nicholas has another question, and we'll go to the question period at the time. So, yes. he was talking about gas masks for a second. Yeah. Yep. It's the last thing on a scrum board. Now, Nicholas, is that a video scrum board or is that your prepping scrum board? Because yeah. Tup has both of them. He has his prepping scrum board and he has his video scrum board, yeah. uh, of which I take secret videos of and then try to mimic, although he does it way faster. And so, yeah, mine's, mine's over there. I'm looking at it. But, uh, can you take a stint on gas masks? Uh, what do you want to say? Uh, prepping scrubber. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, you should get some gas masks. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're they're hard to get though right now because everyone's <laughs> trying to get them because uh, people are worried about stuff and uh, and and, def and the filters are hard to get too. So if you're able to find a gas mask, you might have trouble getting the filters. Fortunately, fortunately, I got all of I stocked up before all this stuff happened, so I feel in, in decent shape. So yeah, I uh, I have not been a gas mask person uh i think in prepping there are the things that you uh need to feel comfortable with a little bit more than yeah. other items and things and gas masks were one of those things that i was like hmm, i don't know that i'm a gas mask person yet like yeah. i'm a tent person and a sleeping bag person and a water filter it's, person it's full, it's full prepper when you get the gas mask that's because that, yeah all the cool photos have someone in a gas mask so uh, exactly well and i think also the usually when you see a picture of someone with a gas mask usually it's like the apocalyptic yep. thing or whatever and that i think can be off-putting and it's not and prepper adjacent to be in a it's gas not non-prepping it's yeah. that's prepping um, but I was, I was kind of, you had done a video, uh, with some gas masks yep. in the past. Um, and I was approached by a company that does gas masks to maybe do uh, a video or something with that. So, um, I'm looking for more casual prepping gas masks sort of things. Well, um, I, so we'll I think it's happens. good. Like for me, like in an urban environment, that's the urban prepper, uh, like the, in Seattle, at least there's a lot of like crazy stuff that happens with the tear gas and stuff like that yeah. so it's not just only for like uh apocalypse stuff it could be for like riot control agents or it could be for a building evacuation for smoke and stuff like that and that's that's why i have it uh so it's not all just for like uh end of the world type stuff it's more for just it, if volcanic eruptions like if a uh, mount rainier or uh mount hood or something were to go off uh i'd want to have some kind of protection there for that even though it would fill up pretty those particle filters would fill up pretty quick with the ash that's it, uh yeah, I was thinking like the wildfires because it, it, I Wild don't think too, yeah. you guys. I don't know if you got them as bad up no. north as as we did. It was but bad last a year. Years, but yeah, last year we got real bad, and so I was like, you know, maybe for the wildfires and things. You know, I always thought that the N95 masks were like as close to a gas mask as I would ever need to get. Yeah. And then the last two years happened, and now N95s are like nothing. It's like, oh, I put on my. It, it's fine. Um, but yeah, having I, I something that, that's a little more, I hope that mirror safety or one of the other ones uh, gets a, 
I want like a half face mask. I, I just like for breathing, not necessarily for the eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that would be good, and especially for fire stuff. But like Nicholas is asking for a recommendation. Uh, if if the mirror safeties are sold out, look at the uh, the SGE four hundred three is a good one. Uh, Mestel is the company I think that makes it. I, I have a I have a review video of it. Uh, it's that's a, that's a good one. It's cheaper than the mirror safety one. It's it might not be as good as far as like the testing and stuff goes, but it, it's super it's uh, super durable, high quality, uh, and yeah, I think it'll, it, that might be in stock. I don't know. I could look really quick while we're talking. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at the mirrors. Um, I I was interested in the mirrors because they also have kid size ones. Yeah, that's um, the, that's because it's. I always found it conflicting because, like, yeah, I could get a gas mask for me and my wife, and then, oh, all right, see, all right, kids, you're on your own. Like, <laughs> uh, I didn't want to feel like that, so I actually have. Uh, let's see, what, what do I have here? Let me see over here. So I got a fox here. So Mirror Safety actually has a gas mask for kids that kind of looks like. Uh, uh, it's the it's, aquarium one. Yeah, like an aquarium. Like you put it's you know, like that. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's kids might want to put that on, and it's a little easier. They have full vision and everything like that. It's a little on the pricey side. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting my daughter to do it for a video. Though. That's the problem I'm having because she's scared of it. So, um, but yeah, they, they do have a, a wide range of stuff. So. Yeah. How uh, how many of the filters? Because the canisters work, I think, are interchangeable on all of them. How many of the canister filters do you? keep on hand because that's one of the things that's kind of like it's like your toilet paper video like you did all the math and so then i went out and i just bought a ton of toilet paper yeah and so i have my year's worth based on tub's calculations and then i added a few yeah um so based and on i think tub's i need calculations, to yeah i think i need to revise many, the calculations because girls use more toilet paper than guys but uh no uh, but if, if you get a bidet in the bidet then you don't greatly. have to worry about it but have I told you my bidet story as far as uh, my wife I'm eventually told me had me take it out. Very interested in this story. Please tell us. My wife eventually had me take out the bidet from our primary bathroom because I put it in there at the start of COVID because yeah. we, were, we didn't have like, you didn't know if when you were going to refill the toilet paper. All, all, we were good on TP, but I wanted to conserve it. Anyway, <laughs> people would accidentally activate the, the bidet and it, it was a cold water one. <laughs> and so... Uh, and it has absolutely perfect aim. So people were like absolutely pressing it. And all of a sudden, so we'd be in one room. We'd hear screaming coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> and uh, my mom probably jumped six feet in the air because like got a perfect spray from the bidet. Wasn't expecting I'm, it. Okay. So here's my question. Yeah. Why do you have a glass door on your bathroom so that you can see your mom jump no, no, six no. feet in the air off of the toilet? I, I, heard, I heard it. I'm using my ears on that because uh, mm -hmm. uh, she and, and then but anyway, so she went running away because she didn't know what. And then so the bidet shooting across the bathroom, this cold water onto the wall. It's just continuously spraying it, and uh, and that happened so many times. And I got a good kick out of it. I thought it was hilarious. But... Here's the deal: I've never met your mother. I've never yeah. seen your mother. So she in might my be watching head, the stream. I, I have like a cartoon version of a generic uh, mom type person or whatever. Yeah. And I just it, hear this thud and the door run over it and her just running with her pants around her ankles out the house while it's just flooding <laughs> out of the bathroom. <laughs> she, she just she went in. across the bathroom. <laughs> like she started screaming, help, help. There's water coming out of the toilet. I don't know what to do. And so I'd come, <laughs> I was laughing and stuff, but, uh, uh, yeah, all right. You, I guess when you're when you're on the restroom, you're not expecting a cold water to be shot there. <laughs> so anyway, okay. so it's it's been it's uh, right now it's retired into a different it's in a module right now, but I still have my my portable uh, bidet <laughs> points, so. for, for home remodeling module. Yeah, well, right. it's, a, it's yeah. I'm, I'm going to give you a suggestion. Okay. So I also felt very similarly, and I was like, hmm, this toilet paper thing. Maybe we think about a bidet there were some medical issues in our house at the same time. And so it kind of was like, okay, we'll give it a shot. Um, Costco sells them the, the bio bidets um, and they plug in and they're heated. So they, they fit on any size toilet. Nice. You get the, the short one or the, the elongated one. Um, and they have a remote control. So they don't automatically shoot off unless you hit the button on the remote control. So like people have to know that that's happening, but I will say the warm water and, and the knowledge that you're doing it as opposed to being surprised by a cold spray out of nowhere. 
<laughs> it is a it is a wonderful thing. So we actually got one to start with to test it out, and it was such a hit at our house that we outfitted all of the bathrooms nice. with them now. Um, so we, I would highly recommend link, that. We need a link for that one. I, well, it's it's a Costco thing, so I can okay. I can find it. They go on sale every so often, so it's kind of this one of those. Is the things. second Costco product that, that you, you we need to be sponsored. I think for I love Costco. If Costco yeah. wanted to sponsor us, I, that would be fantastic. Yeah, but I think they cool. just are like, no, we'll continue to sell things high quality or low price. We, yeah, we don't need you in your, need you, and your yeah. sponsorship. Um, but yeah, the 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 Costco stuff, and if it doesn't work, you can take it back. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, but it's I do. A, I do think all. Pre- I think having a bidet. That I think everyone should have a bidet because. Like, uh, I don't, am I giving too much information? Let me think. Well, uh, it's just a good thing to have. So, it's like after, like, like have. we, uh, we have some family members that have had some various surgeries and stuff. And sometimes yeah. if you can't move your ha- arms or something, having a bidet helps out. So it's a, uh, it's not just for uh short toilet paper shortage, but if you have injured arms or like, I can't do anything with my left hand, uh, it's cause I'm right handed. So yeah. having that bidet would be handy for certain situations. <laughs> That's a, a one armed bidet a, a SHTF no. situation. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> Why do you have a fan in your toilet, Tuff? Yes, what is going? <laughs> what is wrong with your bathrooms? Yes, um, they got sprinklers and fans and all kinds of things. Um, yeah, it, it, we actually got so used to them that then when we went camping last year, yeah. we actually we didn't bring the ones from our house, but we actually got travel ones to take with us that are it's like a bottle with a yeah we have those thing on nice. it or whatever. Um, and that, yeah, it, it definitely was, um, you forget how kind of used to it. And when we talk about bougie preps, like you forget how, how lovely they are until then you go to someone's house and they don't have it. And you're like, well, like in, what in, is in, this? Yeah. In Europe, it's more common, but uh, over here, we're just, we're not, Americans aren't into the bidet game quite yet, but the prepper movement is helping, helping with that. Yeah, thing. exactly. Exactly. Um, all right, so that's. Uh, how did, I don't know how we got into that topic. But <laughs> look, we we. How do we, we go get into places. any topic? Yeah, we we go just places. go around and then we're like, okay, it's been about an hour. We should probably end it now. Yeah, um, yeah I think. Uh, yeah, I think. I, think I, I got nothing it? else. I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we've accomplished all of our things yeah, and we, um, according to the script, and that's what we we follow. Yeah, exactly. All the according to our four, we're going to start this. According to our four topics, we are yeah. we are completed on the mission. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by and joining us this evening. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again next week, next Wednesday, hopefully, uh, our normal time. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, the collapsible rake. Now I got to go find one of those. I put, a, um, I put a link in the chat room. That's... Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I can't wait to, I put my, uh, my notifications on do not disturb when I mm-hmm. do the podcast. And I'm sure that there's at least three text messages from my wife being like, we do not need a collapsible rake. And, and my <laughs> response one, back will be, yeah. will be, I didn't read that before I bought it already. And this is like the Wolverine of preppers. Thursday. Like I look like Logan. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for stopping. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Have a great weekend. We will see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. See ya.